Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here with Sister Gretchen. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only a celebrity in your eyes. Honey. Oh, you are indeed. <laughs> if you like our little short videos, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. We appreciate it. God bless you. And uh, today's uh, dedication is called God-Centered Victory. God-Centered Victory. Good morning. 1 Samuel 17, 47 says, All those gathered here here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. Charles Colson said, mm. We're in spiritual combat, cosmic combat for the heart and soul of mankind. Indeed, we are. We are. Spiritual and, combat. Yes. Mm. It was an appalling situation. A nine foot giant would stand out in the open every day and taunt the armies of Israel. The people chosen by the Almighty God were in the land promised by the Almighty God, fighting a battle ordained by the Almighty God, and they were intimidated. Right. <laughs> by an offensive loudmouth, albeit a very big one. But very their, big. Yeah, but, <laughs> but their God, or our God, is so much bigger. They should have known that. Well, they could see Goliath and hear him, you know, but you know, God can't see a spirit so they knew well, you know in, in the scope of things it's understandable i mean we get fearful right yeah and that's how most of us live we only believe what we see see and hear yeah yeah so it, it's understandable so i, I come some slack you yeah know. they're wrong but uh, you know i come some slack <laughs> yeah uh david did he didn't come upon the situation and challenge his elders courage or their battle skills he didn't offer a better strategy or suggest uh -uh. an opportune moment to strike nope. no he was simply outraged by the absurdity of the scene right the soldiers of the living god cowering in fear while the name of the merciful mighty god of the universe was slandered Ooh. why David didn't go to the front lines to make a name for himself. Uh -uh. He went to serve his brother's lunch. Now, how humble is that? Yeah, and God, all these mighty men arrayed, you think God would use one of them to make a point? He could have used King Saul and had King Saul win somehow. Yeah, because they all were in armor and, right. you know, they were they were ready for battle. And God was behind them. But God chose a, a, a small boy. A young teenager, probably 14, 15 years old, he chose the smallest one, the weakest one, to use to make his point. Yes, because he represented humility. And he wanted to show that, yeah, it was God who did it and not man. That's right. It wasn't a big warrior with armor, wearing armor. It was, it was all God. God gets the glory. That's right. God always gets the glory. So his reputation, uh, God's reputation was at stake. The army's fear did not honor him. Mm -hmm. The enemy occupied promised land did not honor him. Right. And the gorilla of Gath did not honor him. <laughs> the gorilla of Gath. <laughs> Something had to be done. Right. Do you take that attitude in the world every day? Mm. No, you need not carry a slingshot and stones. And you need not be offensive about it. But your God, the merciful, mighty God of the universe, who has chosen us and equipped us for every good work, even guaranteeing us ultimate victory, is being slandered by an unseen enemy. That enemy's propaganda has been swallowed by the gullible, hard-hearted world and we're the only army God has redeemed for service. Amen. That's you and me, everyday people. That's us. We're the army. Goliath is an appropriate image for Satan. Big, noisy, intimidating, and doomed. Yes. David is first an image of Christ, but also an appropriate image for the Christian. Amen. Concerned mainly with serving bread and defending the name of God. Can you follow his footsteps of faith into battle? Amen. Will you? 
So <coughs> every day is a battle. Yes. When you're serving the Lord, because the enemy is out to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, he is. He will stop at nothing to see us destroyed and to stop us from uh, bringing Jesus to people. Right. So we need to be on our guard, and we need to be armed with the full armor of God every day. We need to have be washed in the blood every day so that it will give us courage and boldness to go out and preach and be the hands and feet of Jesus. Yes, the real battlefield is in the spirit world, not in the physical. Right. Jesus was told the disciples, be mighty in battle in the spiritual world, but be meek as lambs in the physical world. And that was David. You know, they tried putting the armor on David. Well, they did, yeah. but he couldn't move. Yeah. He was too, it, he was, the armor was too big for him to carry. Right. And you know what? That tells us that God is willing to carry the armor for us. Mm. We just have to be faithful. Yes. We have to be, we have to be humble and understand yes. that it's God doing the work and yeah. not us. God gets the glory. That's it. That's if, the bottom line. If, God get, if you're not giving God the glory, God's not going to work with you. No. He'll, he'll leave you and abandon you. That's right. And he'll let you do your own thing. He will take the anointing away yes. that he gives us to go out and speak on his behalf. Amen. Well, we hope y'all have a very blessed day. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out, and we'd love to talk with you. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. God bless you.